Uh, I'm just saying, is it still available? Uh, yeah, it is available. Are you an agent? Yeah, I'm actually a real estate specialist here in the area, and I was calling to see if you're working with agents that bring qualified buyers. Uh, well, yeah, we are. We are we're offering a uh, commission of 3%. Okay. So. Great, man, great. That's <clears throat> you have a buyer? Uh, I don't have anybody that's actually handpicked your house personally, but we do have a few buyers looking in the area. Okay. So, uh, Paul, it's actually important for me to know about all the properties that are being sold, even the ones that are off the market. Quick question: Are you on the MLS yet, Paul? Uh, no, no, we're not. We're not. We're not hiring an agent right now. We're not. We're not going there yet. Okay, I understand that you're not hiring an agent. I can appreciate that. And uh, Paul, it shows on my notes that you're asking seven fifty for the property. Is that still here? Right. Okay. Great. Yep. Yeah, seven hundred fifty thousand. So it's only been. Uh, a couple weeks now, so right now we're just uh, you know we're entertaining a few interested buyers. Okay, a few interested buyers. Any yeah. offers? No, no, no offers yet. Just no. uh, people looking. Yeah, but again, like I said, um, three percent. I mean, more than welcome to bring a buyer by. I, we do want to know that they're pre-qualified or they have proof of funds. Great. I don't want to waste my time with anybody who's just you know kind of looky loo. Hey, I understand that. I mean, that that makes sense. And then uh, Paul, with the uh, asking price, how did y'all get that price? Uh, well, I mean, there's a property that sold down the street for a little bit more, mm -hmm. um, and basically we got a good look at, there's a, an agent who sends a monthly um, market report for the neighborhood. Okay. So we've been keeping an eye on the values. Okay. I mean, that's great. Good to do. Are you at all uh, flexible on that price when it comes to negotiating with a buyer, Paul? Uh, well, I mean, within reason. I mean, we're, we're not going to give it away, but it, I think we're priced relatively competitively right now. Okay, so as long as the numbers make sense, I mean, it's something that you're willing to do? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm willing to negotiate a little bit. Okay, perfect. And uh, to show the property to a buyer, I mean, do you still live there, or is it a vacant house? Or? No, no, I live here right now, so um, you can just call me. Okay. And again, I want to make sure that if uh, somebody comes by, it's, it's a legitimate buyer. I mean, I'm not entertaining people coming through the house and... Uh, Agents getting a look at it. I mean, a lot of you guys have been calling. You kind of want to just uh, check the property out, but you don't have buyers. I mean, I only want serious buyers. Okay, so you only want serious buyers. I mean, that makes sense, Paul. Let's take it back. Um, I mean, you're in such a great area. What's causing you to sell anyway? Uh, well, I, we're, I have basically a business in Florida. Okay. So um, it's going to require a lot more of me in regards to time. So um, I, the goal is to be out of here by the end of summer, but um, I mean, it's. When I sell the property, I sell it. I may, I may rent it. So okay. So it's about renting the backup plan if it doesn't sell. Yeah, I, I, it's not my first choice, but I mean, if I have to, I will. Okay, great. And then, so you have a business in Florida. I mean, how does your family feel about making that move out to Florida? Oh, uh, they're already already out there, actually. Okay, so are you out here alone? Yeah, I'm just tying up loose ends with business up with my business here in uh, Austin and the house, of course. Okay, great, so I imagine your family really wants you to get the house sold and get out there, is that what yeah, I'm Yeah, there's, <laughs> my wife's waiting for me out there. Okay, great. Yeah, so look, if you got, you got a buyer, bring them by. I mean, I'm more than happy to uh, pay that 3% commission, so. Okay, great, I mean, that makes sense. And then, uh, Paul, after you get an offer, how much time do you need to move? I mean, if we had somebody who's like, hey, look, Paul, we want to close in 30 days, would that be a problem for you, or? No, it wouldn't be a problem. No, I can I can move pretty quick. I, a lot of the stuff, the garage is actually probably 75% packed of the major furniture is in the property. It's still staged and looks okay. I don't know if you saw the pictures. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, we're, we're ready to go sooner than later if possible. Okay, so you're trying to get out there for your business. What kind of business are you in? Yeah, it's a uh, importing, exporting business. Okay, is it yeah. at all seasonal? Or I mean, you just if you get there a little bit later, would that be a problem for you? No, no, it won't be a problem. Okay, so no. uh, you say by the end of summer, if you don't sell, you're gonna be out there regardless, right? Uh, well, that's, yeah, I, I don't want, past September, it won't work for me. Okay, Paul. Well, here's the million dollar question. Why did you decide to sell your home yourself versus hiring a professional like me to get you the highest price possible? Well, I mean, you know, 3% is, is a lot of money. I sold an investment property once back in 2004. Mm -hmm. One of my own investment properties. It was a little property, but um, I did sell it for sale by owner then. Okay, and what was that like? Uh, it was just a little, you know, it was a little 1,400 square foot home. Uh, the market was pretty hot, so uh, we sold it to an investor. And, um, and you know, basically it happened pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Quick sell, yeah. Cash sell. It was actually, yeah. Okay, great. So, um, Paul, based on everything I'm hearing, you're trying to get out to Florida by the end of summer. If you don't sell by that time, you're going to rent out the property. I mean, all that stuff makes sense. And really, just putting the most money in your pocket—that's the objective. Is that correct? Yeah, right? I mean, that's that's a good chunk of change on the three percent I can save if I sell it on my own. Exactly, I understand that. And I know this might sound crazy, Paul. But if I can get your home sold for more money than you could by selling it on your own, 
taking some time to look at how that made sense. Is that unreasonable? Uh, well, I mean, I'm just not ready to hire a, a real estate agent yet. You're not ready. Okay, no. I understand that. You know, taking a little bit of time and, you know, trying to sell it yourself for a little bit. Yeah, well, I had, I had uh, an interested party, and they're supposed to get back to me. They were mm -hmm. pre-qualified. Um, but, you know, it's it, I'm just not ready yet. I'm give it a, a swing here a little bit myself. Okay, Paul. Well, Paul, I mean, if I have some new information that can cause your home to sell and actually help you get your uh, home sold and get you out to Florida back with your family, I mean, taking 15, maybe 10, 15 minutes of your time, is that unreasonable to hear me out? Uh, oh, I mean, you could send it to me. You want to just email that to me? Yeah, I already got your email right here. I sent that right over. But when would be a good time for us to get together? Are you available maybe later today at 2 or tomorrow at 4 work better for you, Paul? Well, like I said, Rich, I'm, not, I'm just not um, ready to, to list with an agent right now. So I, I'm... I think that it'd be a little premature, I think. Mm -hmm. I understand that, and I respect that, Paul. And honestly, it sounds like you got a lot going on. you got a business that you got to get to out in Florida, trying to sell a home right now, maybe thinking of renting a home. It's a lot of stuff, Paul. And that's exactly why we should get together and maybe take 10 or 15 minutes and go over this information and come up with a custom plan for you just to get you back connected with your family. So, again, are you available at 2 today, or would 4 tomorrow be better for you? Well, the thing is, is that, Rich, that, that the – my biggest concern is I don't want to lose out on the buyer if I could sell it on my own. So um, this other uh, party that come through, I mean, they seem pretty serious. They're from California, mm -hmm. and um, I'm, I want to see I want to see what happens with them. Okay, is that your only hangup? Well, I, you know, like I said, it's only been a couple weeks, uh -huh. so that's what, that's why I said it might be a little premature because I had a couple of uh, buyers that had come through, mm -hmm. and that one particular, I mean, they, they seem like they're pretty interested. Great, I understand that, and I respect that, you know. Want to pursue that route just to see if they're serious or not, and you know, really fill them out. And what I can do for you, Paul, we can get together, like I said, two o'clock today. And if that buyer, when we're working together, decides to buy your home, you know, that's something that you've already set up previously. And you know, I'll just step out the picture and let you handle it. So if you still have that option for that buyer, is taking ten or fifteen minutes looking at some new information really unreasonable? I mean, don't you want to get back out to your family? No, I, yeah. Out there, right? I mean, I do, I do, I do. Um, I can just look at that information. Um, but the thing is, is that, you know, we're, um, the last realtor I had, I, we sold another house after that investment property and, mm -hmm. and um, that agent was able to um, reduce the commission a little bit. Is that something in your, in your business plan to be able to adjust the commission? No, Paul. It's not. We can't do that. But I, like I said, I can show you a plan that's custom fit to you that actually, actually can net you the money that you need. I mean, does it really matter how your home sold as long as you get the money that you're looking for to get out there to attend to your well, family and your business? I mean, it, the, the net's the bottom line. So The net, exactly. So like I said, if I had a plan that's perfect for you that works and gets you the money that you need and gets you to hit that bottom line and get you out to Florida in time, I mean, is that really unreasonable to get together? No, it's not unreasonable. Okay, well look, I'm going to be in the area around 2 o'clock today anyway, so I can do a quick pop by. You already have the information in your uh, inbox, you know. Look it over. If you have any questions, give me a call. But I can be over there, two two thirty. You know, take ten or fifteen minutes and just go over how we can help you accomplish your goal. Paul, get you out to Florida. Okay, but I'm not. I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to sign anything. So yeah, it's for, I'm just like I said. I'm just trying to pre present you with some new information. And if it makes sense to you, Paul, and everything looks like a go, then we can go ahead and you know get the paperwork done and we can get your property listed. Well, if we'll not, see. We'll see. I mean, yeah, we'll see. Um, that has to make sense. Yeah, well, right. And if not, Paul, worst comes to worst, you have some new information on your plan that can help you sell your home. So how does 2 o'clock today sound? That's fine if you want to stop by. All right, I'll be over there.